Here's your local weather authority forecast on Fox 24 News. I was hoping yesterday for some rain. I saw the wind. I saw the bad clouds coming in. I thought, it's coming. Saw no rain. I was so disappointed. But we, we did have some <laughs> a little bit around 2 p.m. Yeah. Just very brief, but places to the south got hit with some strong thunderstorms. Really? Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. good to know. But um, yeah, quite different today, though. Much drier, much cooler. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be the big story for today as I highly recommend going outside. Current Midland cam showing those high clouds. And it's certainly a nice day to go out because of those cooler temperatures. And you do notice those high clouds off in the distance. And that's indicative of the cold front that made its way throughout our neck of the region. Take a look at the satellite and radar over the past 18 hours. You did notice those storms making its way just south of I-20 near the Fork Stockton area. Most of it staying clear of Odessa and Midland as Caitlin was mentioning. But you did notice that there were some pretty strong storms just south of Fork Stockton. Locally heavy rainfall and those winds. Those winds were pretty gusty everywhere. So something to keep in mind as we have out through today though. It's just some morning clouds, but clearing conditions for the afternoon and those winds will be a little bit breezy, but not as gusty as they were yesterday. And so that is certainly some good news if you want to walk the dog or go for a run. I highly recommend it. Cooler and dry today because of that high pressure to our north funneling those northeasterly winds. But as that high pressure moves to our north and east, brief temperature surge with more of those southerly winds. But once again, we have another pattern change with potentially some cooler weather and storms this weekend, so stay tuned. We have temperatures in the 60s right now, and those temperatures are going to go up into the mid to upper 80s. But do you notice any triple-digit readings on the map? No, nowhere close, really. The hot spot, Presidio, 96 degrees. But as we head throughout Odessa and Midland, 88 degrees for this afternoon. So again, it's my pick of the week to go outside. I can't stress that enough because tomorrow here comes the heat. 98 degrees in Odessa, Midland, 103 degrees in Pecos, and 103 degrees in Carlsbad. So we might have some heat advisories in those areas. And compared to normal, our high today, 89 degrees and low, 72 degrees. So it is actually quite a bit below normal. But in terms of the low, it's actually above normal because of those southerly winds making its way into the neck of our region. But also since we have that cold front making its way through our neck of the woods, drier air, 49 degree dew point, much drier than we went than where we were yesterday as dew points were in the 60s. And as we take this throughout the next several hours, you do notice sunny and mild, 87 degrees for the afternoon rush. So again, should be nice to go out and about and great for stargazing, 83 degrees tonight as we head out and about. We have a waxing crescent tonight and the full moon is starting to come pretty close. The strawberry moon, strawberry moon Thursday night, but 70s and a little bit of breezy conditions for tonight. Might be a little bit of a different story Thursday night. Take a look at that seven day forecast. You do notice those temperatures do remain in the upper 90s and similar conditions in terms of those temperatures for Thursday night. But I might expect a little bit more in the way of clouds, just something to keep an eye on. But for this weekend, we have a chance of showers and storms with another cold front and another chance of some strong thunderstorms and cooler conditions for early next week. So if you guys are traveling, going on an airplane, just make sure you guys are prepared. Always good to know. Thank yeah, you, Ryan. Exactly. You know, looking forward to the end of that uh, that week there, the later part of the week, and I just hope these days of like the 90s just fly by and we get to the right. cool weather. I agree with you. <laughs> yeah, I mean it is the summer, so we have to get through those 90s. But if you are traveling this weekend, have you ever wondered what makes an airplane stay in the sky? I have actually. Never really? really a little bit. I mean, I kind of thought how. How does this happen? What, you know what I mean? I would never be able to think of how to do that myself. Yeah, there's a lot of atmospheric thermodynamics involved, stuff I learned in school, but meteorologist Karakin Chauvin has the details. 